FTV Lee disappointing re result in the end. I mean, was it same old, same old for you? No, no, not at all. I, I'll be honest, I've, I've, I don't know why everyone's moaning. Well, I've seriously no, we just don't. lost 2-0. Mate, they're the fucking champions of the, mm. of the country, of the, the title, title holders, by a country mile last season and then spent £60 million on one of the best players in the league, in Mares. Why are we moaning? Why are we moaning? Seriously, genuinely, why is everyone moaning? At the end of the day, the way I see it is, me personally, I've wanted change for a long, long time. We've got that, well, and we think all the problems that have been left behind are going to be fixed after one game. Nah, not at all. This is going to take all season. We're going to see results this season, hopefully pick up, because last season we were banted off away from home all season. We were good here. Obviously, that's the first home game. It ain't getting any harder than that, Robbie, and, and, until we go up there. You know, but I don't see why everyone's moaning. I see some good p p positive performances today. Right, give me the positives. The positives, Licksteiner when he came on. Maitland-Niles was getting absolutely raped down that wing. Um, he was too far inside. So every time the ball was spread out to Mahrez or Sterling, he was too, uh, too far away. As soon as Licksteiner came on, bang, he straight into Mahrez and stuck one on him. Yeah, and said, yeah, now I'm here, mate. Um, Matteo, I ain't gonna pronounce his surname. Grindosi. Grindosi. I thought he was absolutely superb. For somebody so young to be playing in the French League 2 last season to come over to one of the biggest clubs in the world and get thrown in against the champions I thought he was superb mate yeah, absolutely blinding performance for him um, Petr Cech um, that, was the, that was the only downside for me other than that I can't, I can't fault anything really Listen, at the end of the day we've made substitutions before 70 minutes when, when, is that allowed? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is that allowed? So yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy listen it ain't going to get fixed overnight and I've been banging on all summer. Everyone's saying we need this and we need that. If somebody said to you or anybody else stood here um, in January, we're going to change the manager. We're going to change all of the backroom, backroom staff. We're going to get a um, director of football. We're going to get a chief scout that's better than the one we had. Okay, and arguably the best in the world. We're going to buy five new players and we're going to have a full pre-season with them players. Everyone would have stood here and laughed. Well, that's what we happens. give him enough money to invest in the summer <coughs> Right, we we've invested for top four, or you know we're. Yes. I think it was. Uh, I can't remember who said it. Said we want to see investment to try and win the league. Try, you know, it's going to be always difficult to get past these type of guys. But one, one, you know, seventy million quid. Robbie, you, you, unless you're Man City or PSG or Team Barcelona, Man United, teams like that. We've, we're, we moved to this stadium to be self-sufficient. That's what everyone kept telling us here. Let's move to be self-sufficient. 95% of our fan base laugh at Man City and laugh at Chelsea and go, your whole country backs you. Your, well, Qatar is back in Man City. So on one hand, everyone's saying, well, you know, we've moved to be self-sufficient and that's what we want to do. We, we don't want a sugar daddy owner. But then 10 years later, now everybody does want a sugar daddy. You can't well, Everton, have it both ways, The amount mate. of money Everton spent. Listen, Everton, the amount of money that Fulham have spent. Yep. The amount of money that Wolves have spent. And neither of them are going to get in top four, are they? Let's be honest. None of them are going to get top four. All them four teams that have spent over 100 million, two of them are promoted. I guarantee you now, either West Ham, Everton, Wolves or F Fulham, either two, one or two of them managers will be sacked by Christmas because it will go so sideways that they will, they will panic and they'll have to sack the manager to stay in the league. OK, so just throwing money at it ain't going to help. We've got a good squad here that's been underperforming for way too long, right? We've mm. added decent players to it. Um, Socrates, listen, he can take a yellow card every game. If he was wicked in the box today, we're heading everything. Yes, he's not the quickest. He's not the quickest, but if you're never out of position, you don't need pace. Okay, so let's let's just all see the positives in it. Listen, we're, we're playing the best team in the country, and they racked up 100 points last season. Yes, we got Chelsea away next, but they're they're just as bad as us. Let's be real. They they they, they won three new, so. Yeah, they are. They, listen, they sacked their manager two weeks before a season starts after giving him a bit of pre-season. Okay, some of their players won out and they've not gone. The, some of their fans are saying, oh, we should have kept Conte, we shouldn't have kept Conte. So, listen, every single fan has this entitlement that, like, we should go out and win a title. We finished sixth last season. And unless we're going to throw £300 million at it, which nobody wanted 10 years ago, we ain't ever going to throw £300 million at it. So let's work with what we got. If we finish fifth and have two away, uh, two away wins in a calendar year this season and finish less than 37 points behind City, that's an improvement. 